Our next epic topic is going to focus on consumer debt. And of course, at the heart of consumer debt is credit. So I'm just so excited to be here today with Jason from Pedal Card to dig into some of the problems around access to credit, including those who are credit invisible. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Credit invisible uh, refers to someone who doesn't have any information at the credit bureaus. Um, so in their eyes, that person doesn't yet exist. I think that an important thing to keep in mind is that we're all born credit invisible. Um, that you don't have a credit record until you develop one um, through sort of the traditional credit system. There are also people called unscorables. Um, unscorable means that there's some information at the credit bureaus, but not enough to generate a, a, a credit score. Um, and then finally, there's a group of folks known as thin file, um, or that we refer to as thin file. These are people that have information at the credit bureaus. Maybe it's enough to generate a credit score, but not one that's particularly reliable. Um, so there's about 70 million people um, in these three groups combined, uh, which is a staggering number uh, when you think about it. Um, and in the group of folks that are invisible or unscorable, there's about 45 million people. The way that the system has developed and morphed over the past 30 years has created sort of a, a system of privilege. Um, where we have roughly 25% of the U.S. population that has access to a cosigner or a guarantor, someone that's willing to guarantee a loan for them, thereby giving them access to a, a loan product that can create a credit score. Um, for everyone else, uh, the majority of the population, uh, there can be sort of a rocky road. Um, many times the credit card is the product that people use to begin developing credit history. Um, there are also products called credit builder loans, secured credit cards, um, which are meant to sort of ease the transition into credit. About half of the U.S. population is what uh, the industry would term as non-prime, uh, meaning they don't have a prime credit score, 700 roughly and above. Um, the half of the population uh, in the non-prime world includes folks that are credit invisible, thin file, unscorable, and folks that have damaged credit. Um, and where you have consumers um, that don't have a lot of choice, um, there is the potential for abuse. Uh, and so if you find yourself in a situation where you can't obtain credit through traditional means, um, the providers, the only providers that may be available to you um, could be the providers of very high interest products, um, sometimes with obscure terms, um, and these can lead to, to uh, traps where consumers find themselves um, under a, a burden of debt that they can't pay back. Um, Jason, so we're, you know, the Aspen Institute and at the Financial Security Program really concerned about shared prosperity for all Americans. Tell me, particularly in Credit Invisibles, who makes up that 70 million Americans? You know, what part of our communities live in that place where credit is costly and it leads to consumer debt? Yeah. Um, folks that are credit invisible or thin file that are being cut out of the mainstream credit system are disproportionately likely to be young people, to be people of color, or to be immigrants. Um, and so as we think about uh, financial empowerment generally, and equal access and equal opportunity, um, I think that these problems are even more critical um, in the way that they're impacting various communities in ways that, that, that might not be uh, uh, proportionate. Yeah, so it's almost a, a bigger you know, moral equality you know, justice issue, not just a financial transaction issue. It absolutely is. Um, and you know, when you've created a system that requires a financial cosigner or guarantor um, to get access, um, you know, you, you, you set up a system that's not an equal playing field for all participants. That's right. Well, I am just so grateful that you were here today to speak with us and share a lot more about both the individuals that are credit invisible, but also the system that's creating it for us. And over the next 18 months, we'll be sharing a lot more about consumer debt with a lot more voices like Jason. So I encourage you to visit us again at aspenepic.org.